Morning, Mikhail. Morning. Quick turnaround. <laughs> um, how was Thomas Potter? We have to assess him today again. Uh, he had some discomfort. Um, he had a little muscle um, discomfort, and we have to assess him this morning and see how he's. Emil Smith Rowe, Gabriel Jesus. Hopkins. Emil will be training today, so if he's if he's fine, he will be in the squad, and um, and Gabby is still not there. It's a fresh challenge, isn't it? I mean, looking at the, the league table looks different for you, doesn't it? But is that the challenge to the players when you see them today? They know what they need to do. That's the opportunity. <laughs> we talked about it uh, for a few months now. The position that we are in, and the way the team is playing, um, and all the right things that we have to continue to do to end the right to continue to be there. And um, we've seen where the level is. We want to be at that level. We are in that journey together. Um, and there were a lot of positive things to take from that game, for sure. Do you look at your players in your squad and, and you look at the game on Wednesday and you think, look, I know my players can match these Manchester City players week after week? Well, I've seen it with my eyes in two games. Um, but the level of efficiency has to be extremely good in every single ball to beat them at the end. Um, but we are in that journey. We want to be there. Again, I repeat myself. But the team is highly motivated because just in case they didn't see it on the pitch or they didn't feel it after the game because of the result I showed them yesterday. We talked about Champions League football when I spoke to you in July. Mm. But is that the very minimum for you now? In, in minimum for the players? I mean, the fans will be disappointed, but you could go back top if you win your game mm. in hand, for example. Yeah. Essentially. The minimum is that today they train exceptionally well. That's the minimum. Um, looking at the, the Manchester City match as well, it, 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 was it more, do you think, Manchester City's performance, or, or was it just a couple of individual errors from players? You have to give credit to a team when, when they beat you. But for sure, when you analyse the game again, um, I think that we lost it. In terms of the fans, obviously Arsenal fan are now investigating um, objects thrown at Kevin De Bruyne. Is the message to the fans be behind us in, in, in every positive way? And the fans were extraordinarily in the game, the way they supported, helped and inspired the team. Um, obviously, there was an incident uh, at the end that obviously the club or nobody is going to tolerate in our stadium, and the club is investigating that issue. Do you look at the results? And they say a minor blip that you had Everton with a new manager that, that week. Brentford, you were very unlucky with a decision, and then the, the match against Manchester City, the second half. A potential overreaction maybe from some, you know, looking at those three matches individually? But it's normal, obviously, you want to get maximum points that we did in the last three games, and uh, we have to look at ourselves as well. We have to be more efficient for the amount of um, play and situation we have generated. We haven't had enough points, and, uh, and that's down to us, and we have to improve that because we want to win more games. It's a quick turnaround, but in a way, is that a good thing? Uh, you know, when you speak to the players today, they're fully focused. I mean, I know it is a turnaround in terms of maybe the odd knock or tiredness, mm. but just get them back out on that pitch. And that's what we want to do. And um, obviously, they put the schedule the way they did it, which is a bit unusual, but um, it's what it is. And um, and the players, again, I said, is they are highly motivated for tomorrow's game because uh, we want to perform well and win the game. You'll be up against a, a former Arsenal manager in Unai Emery. Do you think yeah. that'll make it a, a more difficult test? And, and how well do you know him? Well, he will always put a very difficult test. A very, very good manager. Huge respect for him for what he's done in every club that um, he's been, the success that he'd had. So, big respect for him. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Hello. good morning. Um, I just wanted to pick up on something you said before. You said that the team showed that they were highly motivated yesterday. Could you just give us insight into that? Was it their attitude or things they said? Because they realise on the pitch and the players feel on the pitch uh, when they are coming against the best team that this league has had in decades, um, how they perform against them. So I sense a lot of belief. They were hugely disappointed not to get the results. Uh, but not that long ago, we were looking there and say, guys, <laughs> we are so far. We still need to improve. And, and now we are closer. But it wasn't enough because they were much more efficient than us. And how far off do you think you are from them in terms of closing that gap? Well, I don't know. In terms of points, I don't know. At the end of the season, we don't know the feeling that I had uh, on the pitch. Is that in in many situations we imagine in many situations were better than them, but in the boxes they were far better than us. I wanted to pick up on something you said after the game. You said you had more belief than ever that Arsenal could win the league. What is it that you've seen? So uh, more of belief in my players. I in said. your players. Yeah. 
So, so what is it that you've seen then so far that still shows you that, especially given how tight the title race is? That when it comes to a state like the other day against that team that I know pretty well, yeah. and the players are able to produce what they produce, it gives me a lot of beliefs that we are in the right direction. Jorginho got his full debut. Just how impressed were you with his performance? He's really good. He's really coming to the team and in respect of everybody. And you see his leadership, his understanding of the game, how he's coaching everybody. I think he had a really good game. And um, also Trossard, it seems like you've been slowly kind of bedding him in. Do you think you've seen enough from him to deserve a start anytime soon? Well, he's had an impact every time he's been on the field, so he's an option. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Mark? Pardon me, Kevin. Um, you mentioned there about the the unusual nature of the kick-off time tomorrow. Is that, is that an annoyance of yours? If you play on a Wednesday, then you've got a quick turnaround, you've got to then play a strong thing on the Saturday. It's what it is. We play tomorrow, we'll have full energy. So is that, you know, you, there's no worry for you in that sense? <laughs> it's no worry, no worry. We have to play, so I want the players to be in the best possible mindset and physically ready to, to get that challenge going. But I suppose, can they be physically at their best having played against Manchester City on Wednesday night? I think they are young. They have a lot of energy. <laughs> In terms of their age, you mentioned there. Is, is there any concern for you that the pressure of a tight race could take its toll on the squad that, that's never been there before? Well, you have to go. <laughs> at one stage, if you want to be at the top, you have to do it. Looking at what they did the other day, um, it gives me a lot of encouragement to think that, um, that they are ready. Thanks. Um, you haven't changed your team much in terms of starting out recently. I just wonder whether or not you saw the fact that this is a quick turnaround as an opportunity maybe to freshen it up a little bit. I know you've got players that are still going to come back from injury, but whether or not you, you would consider that sort of thing, it's going to go through your mind. Yeah, every, every week we consider the best possible option for players um, where they are in terms of performance, mentally, physically, and for sure tomorrow we'll do it again. The last three games you've had more possession than Everton, than Brentford, even, even the, the City. I mean, I think the players were commenting the other night on it's the lowest number of possession stats they've had in a long time. Um, but teams have been playing more longer balls. Is that a tactic you've noticed teams you playing against you? And is it a compliment to the, the way you've been playing all season and the, the performances and results you've been getting all season? Yeah, sometimes it's game plan for the opponents. Sometimes the opponents have a completely different game plan, but they have to adapt uh, during the game. And uh, possession is very important, depending on where it is and what you produce with it. Um, but sets and we are a team that want to have the ball and, uh, and we want to dominate games, that's for sure. I've spoken to managers before about playing out from the back and the risk versus reward. Are you happy to carry that on after the other night? In the right areas, against the right player pressing, yes. If not, no. And in, in, a, in a sense, is it you, you want to be top, you want to be winning the title, but with you being level on points and then just behind City, is that going to take the pressure off your players this weekend? Is it, is it almost better to be the hunter rather than the hunted in this time right? I want to have as many points as possible, as early as possible. And, uh, and it's not about looking at the table, and it's not about that. It's about performing every single day and winning matches. What you've done so far, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, end of May, you're going to have to have certain amount of points to win it. And last one from me, is Villa Park a happy hunting ground for you during your playing career? Sorry? Is Villa Park a happy hunting ground for you? Villa Park is a really difficult place to go and win there, that's for sure. Hi, Mikhail. Um, Hi. Against Everton and Brentford, both teams sort of set up with quite a low block. There's a possibility Villa could do something similar tomorrow and you've struggled against that type of situation. Do you worry that maybe other teams have sort of figured your side out this season? Well, the fact that we, how many low blocks have we faced this season? What will you try and do this time differently than what you did against Everton and Brentford? 16 Brentford. low blocks we have faced this season. So we have won a lot of those games. We have merit at the end of the game to win most of those games. But then it's about the efficiency. You know, when they block everything and the ball doesn't go in the net, it's great. If you win 2-0, then you attack the low block really, really well. So always is going to depend the assessment there. There are always things that we have to improve and our efficiency in the boxes is not being as good as it was when we were football matches and tomorrow it will have to be really high to beat them. I think you were saying there, Mikel, that you watched the game back with the squad yesterday. What was the reaction in the room like when you were watching it? More clarity, just in case they had any doubts.
Do you feel that they're, they're more motivated after the pain of Wednesday? Yes, I think so. And when you're in a moment like this in a tight race, how important is it? We're speaking about the young players, but when you've got Zinchenko, Jorginho, Jesus, players who are serial winners, how is this important for them a moment to step up and, and lead? Well, you need players with those experiences that can guide them, can lead them, can give them reassurances and can show them the path of um, how is it gets done. And that's what I'm talking about. It. You want to win a league, you're going to have to dig deep. You, sometimes you're going to have to lose one or two matches. Sometimes you're going to marry to win it and not lose it. Sometimes you have to win it in the 96. Sometimes you have to play with 10 men. You have to win in many different contexts. Did you always think, even when you had that great run, that there was going to be a moment where you had to suffer if you wanted to win? I cannot show you now, but I can show you in pre-season. Because that moment was coming. <laughs> <laughs> James? Is it something the league should look at going forward? Just just the, the principle of the team playing on Wednesday night and then having to play Saturday night? Well, there are certain rules with Champions League when it's playing on Wednesday night and then you cannot play. So I think that should apply to any competition. Is it something that has been discussed in maybe the Premier League managers' meetings or, or the shell? Yeah, league? that's why I think one of the changes was made uh, toward the Champions League teams especially. Um, but I think following the same principle, I think you're talking uh, physiologically that it's very difficult to turn around um, on that period to get the best outcome and reduce the, the injury risk for players. But, uh, but that's it. Is that sort of consequently, you're going to have to make maybe one or two changes uh, tomorrow? Uh, we knew that we were going to play on that time. and uh, That's not an excuse.